A Nebraska woman who helped her teenage daughter end her pregnancy and bury the remains in 2022 was just sentenced to two years in prison for doing so. Um, again, here were the details of that case. A police said that over two years ago, then 17 year old Celeste Burgess took abortion pills provided by her mother at approximately 29 weeks of pregnancy and gave birth to a stillborn fetus, which the pair burned and buried in Norfolk, Nebraska. Uh, Celeste Burgess, um, the daughter, was sentenced to 90 days behind bars and released earlier this month. Uh, Tanner Barnhill, who was a, a friend, pleaded no contest in attempting to conceal the death for helping with the burial and was sentenced to nine months of probation and 40 hours of community service. But it's the mother, Jessica Burgess, who took a plea deal, faced up to five years in prison, pled guilty to an to providing an abortion after 20 weeks of gestation, tampering with human remains and false reporting. And the 42 year old, even though the state's 20 week ban that was in effect applied to licensed abortion providers and not people self managing their own terminations, she got these two years. Again, sorry, that was all kerfuffled, but police say actually that Celeste, the daughter, did not know she was pregnant until she was about 23 weeks. That's right, so it would have been outside of that 20 week then ban. Um, Nebraska has since implement, implemented an even harsher ban uh, at 12 weeks is the their governor Jim Pillen signed in May. Um, so this is just all, all awful, the amount of criminality that is being thrown onto teenagers who are trying to not become parents is wild because we don't have access to reproductive care. Um, how did it all go down though? Again, she found out she was pregnant when she was 23 weeks. The same month, police say Jessica Burgess, the mother, ordered abortion pills online, but the medication took six weeks to arrive. Celeste Burgess stated in court that she wanted to end her pregnancy because she was in an abusive relationship and did not want to share a child with a man who impregnated her. Um, the last thing about this whole case you need to know is that it seems like maybe a tech company was the one that revealed that this even happened. Uh, they've high, this highlighted concerns about digital communications given that police obtained Facebook parent company Meta uh, uh, obtained and Facebook parent company Meta complied with a search warrant for their private messages. Further, there are rising fears that the US law enforcement may eventually try to use laboratory methods alleged, allegedly developed by researchers in Poland, which has outlawed most abortions to detect medication commonly used to end pregnancies in biological specimens. Okay, that's like some next level. Stuff, but like basically, they got these private messages between Jessica and her daughter, um, and that is in part how they were able to uh, bring these charges. But Senator, I just wanted to your thoughts here. Um, we don't have a lot of time. I have We're like definitely endless in the wrap sign, so I will wrap. Untenable situation. A lot to unpack here. I'm very concerned about what happened two years ago. Let me put that out there. You burn in a stillborn fetus and and uh, burying it. Lots to unpack here about what's happening right now. Many layers, and they are putting people, you know, let's solve for two years ago, definitely putting people, women uh, in untenable situations all over this country because of yeah. this rabid nature of what the Republicans are out to do. We got to revisit no. this one, Francesca, for we sure. We do. And I think the re the reality is nobody is advocating for burning a stillborn fetus. And like no, that, that is we, terrible. We that is it. awful. That being said, no one should be put in that position. And the fact is, and let's be real guys, there's a lot of fear mongering about late term abortion this, late term abortion that. So many abortions happen within the first trimester. If they happen in the second, it is because of a lack of access to abortion pills, a lack of access to safe abortions, right? It is because the people aren't able to make decisions over their own bodies early in their pregnancy that a lot of this happens. But then again, there's also people who don't find out that they're pregnant until they're 23 weeks. So it, it, it is wild we're seeing two year sentences for an abortion, wild to me. Um, but we'll keep on following this and we'll see uh, what becomes of it if she serves those two years or if there's any kind of leniency. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.